price. So for the latest line on Earl Christie, let's join Jim Watt and Reg Gutteridge again. Errol Christie then, coming up for his 14th fight, 13 wins, 12 inside, and three of those in the first round. And a big guy is giving eight pounds away to this blonde Belgian, Jose Says, who uh, defeated a very good Finnish fighter, not an anagram. His name is uh, Usur Vitar. I've seen him fight quite a lot in the amateurs in the World Cup, and he knocked him down three times, but hasn't fought anybody like Christie, but he's let it go. What do you know about this? Walked onto a punch. It's the first time that I've seen him down in 25 seconds of the first round. This wild southpaw is really knocking over what we all consider the best hope in the country. And Larry O'Connell has stopped it in the first round. What a sensational fight this is. He said today, Jose Shea said, why is this little fellow fighting me? I thought he was a light heavyweight. He only weighed 11.10 against 12 stone four. And he walked in and really must have offered his chin a little bit there. He hasn't been he hasn't been beaten since he was 14 now. And was he beaten in style? The referee was quite right. He had no control of the legs. Jim, what do you think of that? Well, it was a, a good decision by the referee. Uh, that's what's uh, known as been caught cold. Chris didn't get a chance to get into the fight. Says just started throwing bombs straight away. One landed and that was the end of the story. As soon as that first punch landed, the fight was over. Well, let's have a look at the replay of this first knockdown. He's standing very square there, Errol. And there yes, he's fallen, and he'd been hurt just before that, which was why he was trying to grab a little to get some space. He'd taken a tag. And this fellow's strong. As I said, he'd knocked the top finish fighter down, although Carl Canwell of London had beaten this fellow. There it is, you see. And that's it. When the second knockdown happened, and he ran back to that neutral corner like a sprinter there, Carl Lewis, wasn't he? He knew what he'd done. He didn't realize that uh, Christie was the really hot number, as they say, in this country. The best prospect that I'd seen for many years. And, uh, well, the old lesson about, well, he's got to learn from that. But uh, nobody likes one-round knockouts or one-round stoppages. And manager Burt McCarthy will need some persuasive words now to say to Errol, well, now, come on. This is where you've really got to get stuck in again because... Uh, they were talking about fighting for championships. Mark Kayla, Tony Simpson, Uncle Tom Cobley, the lot. 